<laughs> Go ahead. Hey guys, it's Shelby and Michelle with Farmhouse Living and welcome back to our channel. So today we are sharing the spring decor that mom has brought out in her home. Some really cute, easy, and I think creative ideas that we're sharing. So we are taking this on with our friend Sarah of Grace In My Space. I have followed her on Instagram for a really long time, but then when she started a YouTube channel, I was thrilled because YouTube is kind of our favorite. It's just all the inspiration that you can possibly find yeah. is here. And so I love her style. I love that I feel like it's classic but it's also like makes an impact, which yes. I feel like it's hard to pull off. Her ideas are great. She DIYs, budget friendly, but also just amazing overall. So yeah. she has some really good spring ideas. So if you are looking for a day full of spring, start with this video and then at the end we will link to hers and you are gonna get all the inspiration that you need right here today. Yeah. So, we started with the dining room. Mom had some fun ideas. She loves, she, well. I love spring. Spring. <laughs> spring. All things living creatures. Yeah. Great and small. Yeah. <laughs> so when we decorate seasonally, typically outside of Christmas, we work in the dining and breakfast nook areas, the places where People are being served just because it's a yeah. fun place to, like, it starts conversation. So, mom has an amazing dining room, and she pulled out the same plates that you have pulled out Christmas, fall. I mean, you can see these plates in every single type of style. Yes. But, you can see they go with pops of yellow and pink and orange, and, and then if you were to do, like, Christmas colors too. So, yeah. if you want to know how to make something work in all seasons. Navy. Navy. <laughs> so it's... tell them about your... So yes, so navy is just a really good anchor color. And so we've just added little egg cups. Yeah. And we've added lots of flowers down the center of the table. And then for Henry, we did a little Easter bunny bouquet. She did a carrot yeah. arrangement, which I thought was super clever. I had never seen it before. You said you saw it on Pinterest? I did. I changed it up a little bit, but yeah, I saw something like it on yeah. Pinterest. Yeah, so it's just yeah. a carrot base. You put the carrots in the base, and then you stick flowers. She kind of hid the stems so that it looks like the actual green from the carrots is flowering. And voila. Wait, that's it? What'd you think? It was gonna be more special? I thought there would be a little bit more flowers. You want more flowers? Okay, you got it. Yeah. And so I thought I, it's very whimsical, very creative, but also really beautiful. I, I do know, like, sometimes when you go to the store, it's hard to find the carrots with the... Yeah, you have to, sometimes you have to go to more of a specialty market, and we have a central market here. And yeah. so it's my favorite place. And what's great about decorating with carrots is that then he gets a little treat later. <laughs> yes. We've done it we, in fall and winter yeah. and now spring. Yeah. He got all the reindeer treats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we love things that are versatile uh, for sure. You also brought in your flowers from, they're actually going to live outside, but we yes. thought let's add Another dose of color. Well, honestly, we're supposed to get a freeze next week. So we want to keep them potted so we can just easily bring them in and out. Yeah. Yeah. That's Texas weather for you. you got to keep rotating <laughs> and making sure that everything stays in place. So we did, we tied the napkins. We didn't put silverware out. That was a new hack that I learned. Mom said there's no special tricks. It can, it's supposed to look messy. Right. But yeah, and so we just wanted this to be a casual dining table and we just added some, uh, like I said, a little uh, runner down the table and some napkins and it's perfect. Yeah, so let's go to the kitchen and the breakfast nook and show right. those details. Kitchen, breakfast nook, keeping it pretty simple, but more flowers. We love to make a central market run and get some fresh stems. 
Mom is actually, I feel like, a floral arrange, like, you're really good at it, but it's because she doesn't overthink it. Like, her arrangements look so professional because they're really so whimsical and... Right, I was, I was in style before yeah. whimsy was in style. <laughs> yeah, just making messy look good. But one thing that I love that she did was she literally cut stems from the fern outside yeah. and stuck them and let those kind of like flow out. Mm -hmm. So you put two arrangements from the grocery store together. Right. I used a overall blue arrangement and then some pinks and I added the fern and that was it. And it's pretty magical. And it was affordable, yeah. right? Very affordable. Yeah. And yeah. one of the arrangements came with a cabbage in it, which I thought was really cool. Another treat. He will Henry. eat. That's one of his favorites. <laughs> yeah, he loves cabbage. cabbage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I also noticed when I walked in, which I know is new, is the, you had a little like floral book. Is that new? It's new. I found it at Home Goods, and I was stuck in that section for a really long time because they have so many beautiful books. And so, yeah. um, and then I gathered a group of ladies and we were all just like trying to decide. Trying to decide. And this is a lovely book. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're bringing in seasonal decor and you don't love the kitschy kind of look and you want something a little bit more practical, maybe something that can inspire you, find a coffee table book or a book to layer, even like cookbooks, find recipes that look kind of springy. You have one in your kitchen Yes. as well. So then, talk about what you put in your kitchen. Again, we always say this, I just feel like we, we're very redundant here, but we didn't do much because um, it just needed a few flowers and we did a new centerpiece. We added some of those little uh, bunnies from Target, the yeah. little wicker bunnies, yeah. and voila. Yeah, that was all. I liked that you had kind of like that in your basket. Originally she had, she bought this basket that she mounted on the wall and it had pine needles in it. Went really great for winter and gave it a wintry look without taking up any counter space. But then you put like faux lantana in it for right. spring, which I love because it's yellow, which yellow sometimes is hard to decorate with but that it's so organic and natural and right and lantanas do not live we've talked about this before like if you're gonna have a party and use fresh lantana like put it out an hour before the party it dies and, really quick yeah. yeah and then if you add a bowl of lemons along time alongside that it's just really really pretty yeah. lemons and lantana i think should be somebody's like vlog name it's lemons like <laughs> <and> lantana <laughs> wow. but they are like a really good Free. Somebody's totally gonna do that. <laughs> Take it, guys, run with it. But yeah, so lemons and lantern, I feel like, make a really pretty spring and it's accessible. You can get lemons yeah. at the, the grocery store. But yeah, I would probably go faux with the lantern because we have tried many, many times. Mom has some growing in her front yard. It just it doesn't, doesn't last. Doesn't. Yeah. And, and also, alongside the lemons, you can also do fruit as an arrangement. I yeah. love a bowl of fruit. Yeah. And we really do eat the fruit that I buy. Um, Except so for I bought, that spiky. What is that? That is dragon fruit, and it's my very favorite fruit. You probably didn't know that. No, I just learned. It's my Mom, favorite. Mom. I, yeah. Okay. I love it. I've never had dragon fruit, but it is a really, I feel like that'll go into summer too. Really fun, delicious yeah. decor. Yeah. Put a little salt on it and salt. Yeah. Wow. It's the, it's the yummiest. Okay. okay. Well, that's, we'll have that for dessert. You didn't really change anything in your living room. Well, I just moved some things around. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I was going to say, I feel like sometimes when seasons roll around, we feel like we have to make this giant extravagant change and really just changing a few things in a few areas. Yeah. And then it'll overflow in the next space and maybe the living room will be the m main area that's updated in the summer. and. Either way, it's beautiful, it's practical, and it flows into the more springy yeah. spaces that you have. So yeah. if you are struggling with spring decor or seasonal decor in general, don't feel like you have to update anything. I feel like, or don't feel like you have to update every single space. I feel like dining tables, entry tables, hutches, random dedicated spaces, and just focusing on that and having fun with it yeah. is really the... We do have a really good time doing this. I think it's a blast. Yeah, we have. Yeah. She was making me laugh earlier when she was doing the carrots, so... 
It's a carrot <laughs> arrangement. What 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 is not funny about that? <laughs> so anyways, yeah. now we are going to do the patio, which we are not going to share in this video, but we will be sharing in a video future on this channel. So make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any more home decor inspiration. We have lots of fun to be had here. Well, it's not fun doing the patio because we have to clean the patio, but we're gonna the, do it. Yeah, the patio, we're gonna do it. the patio every time we refresh seasonally needs like spring cleaning. Yeah. yeah. But make sure that you go to Sarah's channel, which I will put in a card and in, in the link in the description. Make sure that you go and check out her spring decor. You'll you're, love it. You're gonna love it. Yes. And then close this out well. All right, like, subscribe, share with your friends. And again, go check out Sarah. She's the best. Yes. Yeah. Bye, Bye guys. guys.